All right, so today we're talking about writing linear equations from tables and graphs. So the learning target for today is that I can write the linear equation in slope-intercept form when given a table or a graph. So we're going to start here with a couple tables. Um, so the steps. One, we need to get the slope, which is something we did last week. So we look at our... table here for x and y so this would be our delta y the change in y this is our delta x and so our slope is delta y over delta x so the change in y is 2 it's increasing by 2 change in x is plus 1 so 2 over 1 is my slope and then I look for my y-intercept so I'm looking for the value on the table that has a zero in the x column so it's this this one right here is the y-intercept so my v would be equal to positive four and then my last step is I put that together y equals two x plus four following that form y equals mx plus b. So that's a straightforward one, especially when they give you the y-intercept on the table. When you see a zero in the x column, that is your y-intercept. That's your, uh, that makes it real easy. So then what happens if we don't have the y-intercept in our table? So let's look at this table. We have x and y. None of those have a zero in the x column. So we still do the same thing first. We find the slope, which is our delta y over our delta x. So that is the y is going from negative 14 to negative 11. That's plus 3. And then my x is going from negative 8 to negative 6. That's plus 2. So that's my slope, 3 over 2. And then we don't know what our b is. Okay. So step two, we look, there's nothing there. So then we're going to write out our y equals mx plus b with the slope and leaving b as b. So I have y equals 3 over 2x plus b. I don't know what b is yet. So then step four is that I can take any of these points. I can take negative 8, negative 14, negative 6, negative 11, or negative 4, negative 8, and plug them in. So let me go ahead and highlight. I can plug in this value for the x, and I can plug in this value for the y, or I can substitute it in. So I go ahead and do that. I'm going to do it with the smallest value that I highlighted because that's going to be the least amount of math for me. So it's negative 8 is equal to 3 times, or 3 over 2 times negative 4 plus b. And that's my last step, is that I'm going to solve for the b in this equation. So this is a negative 8. If I multiply this, this is just multiplying the numerator. So I get negative 12 divided by 2 plus b. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6 equals negative 8 plus b. And then I add 6 to both sides. And I get that b is equal to negative 2. So that's my last step is that I, or that's I finished my last step by writing it out. So I had my slope up here. My b is negative 2 because I just solved it down here. So now I just rewrite it. y equals 3 over 2x minus 2. So we can always plug in any point that's given to us that we know is on the line to figure out where it crosses the y-intercept. So that is the first part. So let's take a look at these graphs here. So if we're given a graph, which is more common, then we need to be able to figure out what the equation is from the graph. So the steps here are, one, to identify where the y-intercept is. That's where it crosses the y-axis, the up and down axis. And so that would be right here. So then two, I find the slope by counting the rise. So up means plus, down means minus. 
and run, so left means minus, right means plus, to get to the next place on the line that goes through an intersection of the grid lines. So let me just highlight a few of these intersections of grid lines. These are intersections of grid lines. Here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. I want to know where it intersects because I know that at that intersection it's 4, 7, or at this one it's 2, 6. Like those are the kind of things that I'm looking at. And so back to slope, so to get from here, I have to go up one. It's almost like I have to follow the grid lines. Up one, and then to the right, two. So plus two. And I can do that same pattern to keep going to find my points out here. But I can also go down one, so minus one, and left two, minus two. And I can keep following that pattern to get to my points. So a negative divided by a negative is a positive, and a positive divided by a positive is a positive. So I identified my slope. So my m is 1 over 2, my b is 5, and then my last step is to write the equation. So I just plug in these two values that I identified for the slope and the y-intercept. y equals 1 half x plus 5. So that's my equation for this line. So let's go ahead and do this one down here. So following the same steps, I find where it crosses the y-axis. So there it is at negative 1. So my b is negative 1. Now I've seen my slope. So I can either go up. So let's identify our other points. So here's an intersection point. There's an intersection point. And there's one right here too. So to get from this one, I can go up 3. So plus 3 and over to the right, plus one, follow the same pattern over and over to get to the next points, or I could go down three, so minus three, and to the left, which is minus one. So my slope is three over one. So now I put these together, y equals three x minus one. Alright, so hopefully that was helpful. See you in class.